for the incredible thing in the whole world that I even see. Oh, open and shoot, shoot. Setting up is the best part of the day. Ooh, whoa. Oh, that's all about mousetrap. I, my name is Shivansh and I'm six years old. This, I'm going, today I'm going to tell you the game Mousetrap. There are many pieces. There's, there are four bases. The bases are pieces which are face, face one, which this is a lamppost. Base two, this is the ladder. Base three. And base four. This one was just attached in. And all of these bases are part of mousetrap. So this is how to assemble it. Put base one on the highlighted area of base one. Insert it inside. Insert it properly, otherwise the board will break because it's a power board. Right. board. Now, the, put the lamppost on, on the, the fat team where it's already in, inserted. And now, this stop sign, put it in this hole right at the corner. And you put this rubber band from this hole to over here. If you see a green boot in your set, this is a green boot. Insert it on the lamppost, not facing this way. The heel, the heel of the shoe should be facing the front of the stop sign. Here is the staircase. Put this edge of the put this edge of the staircase or here, where or here, where there's the big area where this these two holes are. And put this other stair leg over here, which is right at the corner where, it, where this big box is. Insert square B, then pull, first pull back stair legs A, pull them back on the board, and then insert the stair case legs B onto base one which is right at the corner on at this hole so far only base one is constructed and and you if you're looking for a bucket which is over there here's the this you should put this bucket with the holes which are on these two sides and insert it between these two holes. And put one marble in it. Put the marble in it. Then, now let's go on to base two. Insert base two in the highlighted area of base two. It should be properly inserted. Now, if you, if you see this giant blue broom, put this broom over here facing where this hole is going to the other side of the ladder. Insert it in. Then put 
Then put this bucket, which has holes which are going out. And insert it in the two holes on the broom. And see this wrench? Tilt the bucket over. And now put this wrench. If you wonder what these two holes are for, those are actually a part of part one and part two. It's this long maze like thing. Just insert it in the two holes where that long stick is and put this long rectangle in the long box. In the big box. Now insert base three into the holes. If it's a bit confusing, just lift up the board. Just lift up the board from this area. It's confusing and press it down and insert in. Make sure the wrench is on the right position. Now for these pipes. See these half circles? Put it on the half circle on base 3 which are right or here. These two poles. Insert it like this way on those two holes. It should be like this after it's done. Now, make, now put these two, now put this, first put the bucket, otherwise it's going to be a bit hard, a bit hard. Insert the bucket. It should be looking like this. And it should go through these two holes. Then for this short ramp, put this hole, put these, insert it in this, these three holes. One hole over here, one, one long or one long rectangle over here, one long, two long cylinders over here, and one long, and one fat cylinder over here. Make sure and test it out and see if it's working and going and put it right at the bucket where it's going to come. Fix it a bit so that the marble can come right in the ramp. Now, see this board? Put this board on the, this hole or here. And put this diver and add this circle. Put it on this base and on the and on the board. Place it like this. Diving to base four. And on this base four or here goes a bucket which we lost, but you should put it over there. A yellow bucket if you have. And put it this way so that the diver can put it this way and look at the shape and put it in that way. Then place the yellow bucket over here and put the and balance the trap over here. So now let's start the game rules. There are four mice in this game. That means that there should, there are only, if there, there should be two or four players in this game. These are the game rules. If you land on this cheesy, cheesy cheese, where you see this cheese, that means that you get to have a cheese. But if you land on this cheese and no, and someone has a cheese, you get to steal a cheese from them. Another way to get cheese is if you 
if you land on this trap trap side that and uh, and put and you have to put a mice over there and and then if the mice gets trapped fully that means that you get to ha get a cheese from them this is the most Funniest part, but you might not know. If you land on this area, that means that you lose a cheese. Another part of this blue land is trap. Launch this trap space. Blue launch this trap space. If you land on that space, you have if you have to send the mice over there. If you think this, and only if a mice is over there you can trap, that that is also possible. But the but you should know this. If um, you put a mice over there, and if the mice gets fully captured, you get to get steal a cheese. But you can still play. Just take out the mice and start from the start area. Four people can play, and there's one dice. And there are more things. If you land in this tunnel, the area that you start from should be the area that you ex. This color that you start should the should be the color that you exit. If that's not, if that's not true in the tunnel that you want to go in, you should not go. So this is how you now I'm going to show you how to play. There's a dice and if you roll it you have to follow this plan that you follow. It's for example, I choose this red one and I have to go five squares. One, two, three, four, five. If you land on this space, you can get a cheese. So I grab a so I grab a cheese and I put it in one in my pile. This is another thing. If you get six cheeses, it, and you have to make one wheel of cheese to win, which includes six cheese wedges. Now let's see which square I'm going to land on. Three, one, two, three. The blue launch the trap space. That means that I get, I get a mouse and land it on here, and now I launch the trap. Mm, set up. Oh yeah, set up. It is the best part. Whoa! This is another rule. If the person that you catch fully has no cheese. That means that they can come out. Anyways, they can come out, and but they if they have cheese and they landed fully in the trap, that means that they lose a cheese. That's another way for you to get cheese. Now let's see which square now I now I land on. One again a cheese. So I. Grab a cheese and get it in my pile. I have two cheeses. Now let's see where I land on. One, two, three, four. I get the blank space is for nothing. One, two, three, four, five. I got another cheese. Two, one, two. I'm going to cheese. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I get nine. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The red space that I landed on now. This this space I landed on. 
That is called the red lose a keys face. Nobody else can lose a key get that keys. After just put it in the pile of in the pile of not non taken keys. Keys. So I lost the keys and I put it in the keys pile. That's six keys. Like how I'm building six keys right now. It, the cheese wheel that I was talking about should be looking like this. No matter if it's looking at like a circle, at least you should have a wheel like this. The person, the person who gets all these cheese pieces, like six cheese pieces, and makes a wheel of them. Six cheese wedges gets to be the winner. The first one. Only the first one.